Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have well, some Nick fun. Nick Collier here again, and uh, turns out that Vivor uh, sent me another tool to check out and see how it works. So uh, we're going to take this sucker apart. Well, not apart. We're going to take it out of the box, and then uh, the cat, and then uh, see, uh, hook it up see how complicated that process is and then uh, sharpen some drill bits so uh, hang in there with me the cat really wants attention today okay come on over here Go over here oh there we go All right, let's see what we've got. We've got an instruction manual and a couple of wrenches. That's a good thing. Wow, what do we got here? A bunch of collets? Uh, notice that I took the instruction manual and chucked it because I always like to go in there without the instruction manual first and then at last resort we go check this manual out. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, it looks to me like it's a bunch of collets. Yes it is. Nice. Which is a good thing and not such a good thing. It's a good thing because, you know, it makes it more accurate. But the not such a good thing is these little guys get lost pretty easy. And of course they didn't supply with uh, anything to put them in. Maybe. Nope, they didn't. And so consequently, uh, wow, that's, oh, that's probably the chuck. Consequently, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to make something real quick or else these things are going to get lost. Yeah, this is the chuck in oil um, paper, which is good. That looks nice. Uh, we got... Uh, a power cord we got a bunch of foam and we have got and this little sucker has some weight to it my other uh, drill doctor is like eh, it weighs about two pounds I swear this thing weighs Maybe 10, 15 pounds. Well, right out the gate, it looks reasonably complicated. So that's, in some ways, that's not a bad deal. Because once you figure it out, you've got all kinds of abilities. In the other ways, you got to figure it out. Oh, this is our grinder, our diamond head. Oh, maybe this is a spare one. Yeah. We're going to put it back in the bag just in case it is a spare one. Now, let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, it is a spare one. There's, uh, there's one right in there. <clears throat> All right, let's come in a little closer and 
see what would come. So up. far we have a similar feature to the drill doctor, but um, but this is you know the drill doctor. This head here is just a piece of crappy plastic. You know what? I'm gonna get the drill doctor and bring it over here so we can compare. Okay, well the drill doctor I bought this oh I don't know probably five six years ago at a garage sale for thirty bucks and this is this uh, as you can see this is uh, steel this is plastic uh, and you know I have to tell you the drill doctor has done me fine for all these years and uh, but it's got its limits I mean it just goes so far and then you can't do anything else This has got all kinds of dials and gauges and all kinds of stuff on it. I guess, I mean, I can see that the collet, no, I'm not sure where the collet goes. Oh, I see. Collet goes inside of here. Okay, so that's going to clamp down on on probably about five sizes. Let's see if I've got a drill bit that will fit in there. I don't. Let me get a finer drill bit. There we go. Okay. We've clamped down. So far, so good. Now the drill doctor basically has... You put the drill bit in the end here and it comes through and the collet really is fully adjustable all the way out to a half inch. So, as far as I can tell so far, and, and you know, I'm not saying anything bad here, but as far as I can tell, this is kind of cumbersome. But, let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, look at that! <laughs> they thought of, they thought of it. <laughs> That's great. They came up with the answer. Okay, so the drill doctor, you loosened your collet, you slid your drill bit in here, and then I don't know what this is. We're going to have to read the instructions. I can see that now. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Yep, well, <laughs> okay. Let's come back to the instructions and see how difficult they're going to be to read. Okay, let's just start. Make sure the cutting lip of the drill is parallel, parallel with the slot of the clamping nut before grinding job starts. <laughs> Well, being a writer, first thing out, they've got present tense all the way up to the last word, and then it's past tense. I'll give them a little break. If it's not par parallel, adjust it again. Make sure the cutting lip of the drill is parallel with the slot of the clamping nut. Parallel. I'm, I'm assuming it's this. No pictures, no nothing. <clears throat> okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, parallel with the slot. Jesus. You have to come in and align your your cutting edge and we'll do it with the bigger bit. Align this edge with the with this so which is like whoa. That's very complicated. And at the same time, it has to be the right length. Ah. Okay, there's my alignment. There's the closing up, and then as soon as you close it up, the alignment changes. Oh, this is going to be fun. No, I guess it doesn't. Yes, it does. Oh, man, give me a break. Jesus. Okay. I think I got it the line. Now we put it inside and I'm guessing that we want to know what millimeter size. Of course this isn't a millimeter drill but we're close. So um, on, ran out of battery. <clears throat> okay, so we go to zero, 
we come back and two and a half millimeters about okay so two and a half somewhere in there this goes in it goes in in any position no. Ah, man. Come on. Go. That butts up. That closes up. Okay. That's got something going. Now. We've got that set. That took about, what, 10 minutes? I don't think so. V-Bar usually has some pretty good stuff. I mean, this looks like a really great tool, but it's very complicated. Okay. Uh, set up drill bit to the air, call it. This, you need to have a, you know, a degree in, in engineering in order to accomplish it. Huh. I'm, I'm sure it works great. I just don't have the time to figure it out. Well, maybe I'll get Jason on it. You know, I'm a bit dyslexic, so instruction manuals don't really work for me. If they had, a, especially when they're upside down. <laughs> okay, right side up, they don't really work for me. If they had some kind of a video that showed how to set this up, that might work really good. Let's see if it's possible that they have some kind of a YouTube video. Doesn't look like it. We'll go to the back page. Maybe they say... No. Nope. No YouTube video. Well... Vivor. Uh, I like your tools. This one is pretty complicated. We're going to give it to Jason, who has a whole different take on instruction manuals. See if he can figure the damn thing out. And uh, we'll come back with him to try to work this out. Well, okay, we're back on this beast again. And uh, so, uh, you know, I thought, well, okay, maybe somebody else is has run into this problem so I went to YouTube of all places and Mr. Pete yeah he's an old shop school teacher and so he explained it from step one to, to the end and uh, perfectly so I fully understand what's going on now and this looks like a pretty damn good machine as usual with Vivor so we're going to take it apart again <laughs> and and we're going to see if we can get this thing to to work. All right. I think what we'll do is bring it right up to the front here. Something like that. Maybe move the camera out of the way a bit so I can get in there. Okay, so now, as he explained it, and, you know, I, 
I had the concept, I just didn't have it fully, fully um, conceptualized. <laughs> and there's the phone, of course there is. Okay, here's a three dullards right here. This one's kind of beat up. It's, you haven't even got an edge on it. So, uh, now this is what uh, Mr. Pete said. And, uh, you know, since he's a shop teacher, I trust him. Okay, so that's not, oh, this is the end. So we're up in this area here. Nope, too big. Somewhere in there. Yep. All right, we got that. <clears throat> got the chuck. Put the mini collet away. Bring the bigger collet in play. Come on. Okay. There it goes. Now, snug it down so that it doesn't move and then bring it back, oh, maybe a quarter turn or so, just so it barely moves. And then this is, this call it is nine and 10. So we bring this to nine. Web diameter, nine. Right there. And the cat wants to get in on the action. Huh? Huh, kitty cat. Okay, go over there. So this goes in and then it backs up until it locks and then you tighten it. And that's all you do. I think. Yeah? That's pretty much all you do. Then turn it on, put it in the, uh, okay, somewhere, 118 degrees, and then this goes in like that, I don't know, something's wrong. I'm not sure what that's for, but right now we're going to reconfigure this. And this says nine. Web diameter right there. Okay, we got to go all the way to the... To lock, tighten, take it out. This goes in here. There it is. So that looks pretty damn good. Can you see it? Yeah, I like it. Nice sharp edge. Okay, we're gonna come in and do a smaller one.
just to see how difficult it, it, it is to change collets, which it doesn't seem like it's too difficult at all. Somewhere in that general area, not that one. That one, but boy, that doesn't look like it's going to hold it. We'll give it a try. Oh yeah, it's holding it. Okay, uh, put this back. Bring it down till it's tight and then come back, well maybe not even a quarter turn. Just enough so it's, it can slide. And then this is, what's the size of this one? Three. So bring this down to three. Bring this in, push it in until it gets all the way up against. There it is, right there. Not too bad. Nice and tight. This is a pretty dull, dull bit. I mean, it's gotten chewed up on the side, so we're going to probably have to cut that a, a ways. Can you see that? Probably not. Come on, straighten out. Oh, well, we're going to have to pretend. All right. <coughs> A little bit too much of a uh, cut there, but it brought it right back in. The web is just a little bit too wide. Now it could be that the bit is starting to get, uh, well, I don't know, it looks pretty long. There goes that breaker again. Okay, well, I've got the compressor running, and one of these days I'm going to have to change the compressor uh, plug-in to another circuit because that thing runs on a circuit that's being used a lot. So let's go right up to half inch, or in this case, 12 to 13 millimeters. this way. There we go. <clears throat> okay, it's tight. Now loosen it just a little bit.
Alright. There it is. And drop it in here. And this is 12 to 13. We're bringing this all the way around to 13. Bring that in. And rotate it until the bit. And I believe that's it. Let's loosen it again. Make sure. So this wants to bottom out and this wants to bottom out. There's a little ledge inside of here. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, I went all the way down till it stopped grinding. Turn it around and do the breaker again. And then this one take all the way down until it stops grinding. Now it took it down. There's still a little bit of that web that got, that's messed up, but it took it down pretty far. And also the, the back side of that is not quite there. I mean, it's not necessary, but I want to get this web down a little further. So we put it back in. Loosen it up. Tighten it. Crank it up. Now, what's that look like? Oh, nice. Took it right down. Super sharp, ready to rip. And the web isn't too bad here, too. Now, there is a way to, to cross the web from the top here, but I don't know how to do that just yet. And I'm gonna wait until Mr. Pete does his, <laughs> and then I'll watch him. So, this goes there, this comes out, call it comes out, the kit is complete. Probably could just put the chuck back in here. I like it. And the cool part is, is it comes with a a um, a diamond wheel for carbide. Now these are all high speed, 
but when I move into carbide, I'm going to do that. Now, supposedly this... Oh, I see it hinges that way. That's interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was hoping there would be a way to get this in there so it could be... But it gets in the way of the cooling fan, so... This just sits on top of there, I guess. And now it comes out. No, it's not happy. It's kind of got to be levered out. That's got to come off. Oh, I see. It's catching right on that little thing right there. Mine isn't quite as finished as Mr. Pete's. Mr. Pete's came right off. Now, maybe if I just tweak this just a little bit. Oh, I see. Grab it here, pop it off. All right. That works for me. Okay, so we've got a really nice grinder and much much better than the than the uh, drill doctor that I've been using for the last oh, pr probably 10 years so I'm happy with that So another little project, another little review, and uh, we're back in business. This is Nick Collier, checking out.